Well, very good morning, everybody. Welcome to the second day of the FBI Dressage European Championships here in Hagen. Great Britain led the team overnight. Catherine Dufour, Bohemian, what a test for them. A brilliant performance, an amazing test. Now, for Charlotte Desjardins, they will need to score 86%. There's a medal, but what color will it be? Great Britain go into silver. Jessica von Breda Vandal and Delara BB. Sensational in the dressage. The tens keep coming. Germany are the gold medal winners for the 25th time in the history of the European Championships. Good afternoon and welcome to day two of the FEI Dressage European Championships here in Hagen in the heart of Germany. Yesterday we had a sensational competition. It was the thrilling team competition with Germany and Great Britain vying for the top honours in a sensational showdown. Of course, Great Britain took the silver, Denmark took the bronze medal and Germany clinched gold in emphatic style. Today we turn to the individual medals, the first of those, and it's the Grand Prix Special. And I'm thrilled to be joined in the studio once again by Sunke Rothenberger. Sunke, it was an amazing day yesterday, wasn't it? We had some fantastic performances. Yes, definitely. It was great sport yesterday. I think after all, the favorite won the gold medal. And between uh, silver and bronze, it got quite tight. But at the end, I think, um, yeah, it happened as expected. So, yeah, it's going to be exciting to see what will happen today. Yeah, exactly. The gold medal winners at the Olympics became the gold medal winners in these dressage European championships too. And of course, we've got the Olympic individual gold medalist, Jessica von Bredal-Werndl, coming up today in the Grand Prix Special. She'll be later in the day. Yes, exactly. She'll be later. Uh, but we have to keep into consideration today, it's a different test with uh, the weights put on different movements. So, for example, yesterday, the one time series, they counted double. Today, you ha get the chance to show them twice. So each one time series only counts once. So if you have a mistake in one and you can perform in the other one uh, fault free, it uh, yeah, is easier than yesterday. But you need a horse with lots of trot, good passage. It will be quite exciting to see. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if we really take a look back at some of the key moments from Jessica's test, she was just ahead on every single movement, wasn't she? Yeah, she was spot on today. Um, it was interesting to see how this horse came back from Tokyo Olympics, uh, but she looked super fresh and um, yeah, super Piaf Passage work, as we can see here. Really nice, soft contact. So yeah, she will be the one to beat and I think it will be quite tough to beat her at all. Of course, we also had some really good performances from the Danish team. They got the bronze medal yesterday in the team competition. What about their riders? What do you think they're going to do today? Yeah, we, well, we saw with Marsha Bell and uh, Daniel, we saw a young horse with a lot of quality. Uh, but I think Catherine Dufour, she has a good chance to go for the, for the silver medal. Um, I don't think more, but we'll see. She had a lovely test on average. She was scored quite high, had two really expensive mistakes. So, yeah, we'll see what will happen. And of course, the British riders, they'll be trying to get to the top of the leaderboard as well. Charlotte Dujardin's horse, Geo is so different to Delera, but, you know, there were some fantastic points in this test as well. Yeah, well, yeah, we can see here the whole quality of this horse in Tokyo. I think uh, she surprised uh, a lot of people with how much her little pocket rocket can do. Uh, but uh, you will also see here that, that, that she did have uh, quite a few little mistakes. But as we know, Charlotte, she, she won't leave it as it is. She'll fight till, till the end. And um, yeah, as, as an expert, you always have to keep her in mind uh, for the medals and maybe even gold. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Things could all change today. We were actually uh, lucky enough to be joined by the gold medal winning team yesterday here in the studio. But we also caught up with the British team and the Danish team as well. Let's have a little look at what they had to say. Oh, it's fantastic. You know, you forget what it's like to have noise and people. You know, I, I think I went in and the first thing I heard was a baby crying. <laughs> I was like, welcome back. <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's great. You know, it's so nice to have that support and, um, you know, that feeling that you can really feel the atmosphere with people here. You know, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for the team. You know, I think we have, we have a fantastic team. Um, you know, the same team as we had in Tokyo. 
and apart from now Gareth gets a medal so I mean that's that for me I feel so proud that Gareth now has a medal because obviously going all the way to Tokyo he was a fantastic reserve really supportive um, but obviously he couldn't have a medal um, which is really hard I think as a rider to go all that way and you know be a reserve and see everyone else get medals so, I mean my horse you know Pumpkin is so inexperienced in the sense of all of this atmosphere you know again it's changed there's crowds here there's a lot more going on around you know the warm-ups there's a lot more people yeah I know I'm really happy for the team and uh, most of all for my teammates I mean they did a fantastic job uh, especially Nana and Daniel I'm super proud that they performed like even better than we could have like wished for so I'm super proud of them and of course I'm really happy with my own test despite from from the mistake uh, coming in today but um, overall I had a great feeling of him which gives me like high hopes for the yeah the next two days um, yeah and I'm just happy I mean we finally got a medal and I even even hit it for the prize ceremony yeah <laughs> so that's really really nice and yeah I'm super happy of course, I mean, I'm, um, it's not like disappointed, but a bit annoyed that um, I couldn't keep it flawless today. Um, I guess I didn't manage to, to like balance him properly coming out of that left period. But tomorrow I'll be super sharp on that one. And uh, I think I had many, many, many super, super things, especially in, uh, in my trot tour. So to copy paste, trot and walk tomorrow and then uh, keep the cancer tour flawless. So, as um, Charlotte just touched on there in that interview, um, you know, the atmosphere here, it's electric, isn't it? The spectators were so behind the competitors. Of course, the German competitors, with it being a home European championships for them. But just for all of the riders coming into the arena yesterday, you just couldn't match that atmosphere. No, no, it, it's really special for the riders to be able to ride in front of a crowd after, yeah, what was it, almost one and a half years without uh, riding in front of spectators. And, of course, it's nice to compete. But it's even nicer if you have a cheering crowd uh, there to, to perform for. And that, that, that was special, I guess, for all riders yesterday, but also for the horses. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it does kind of affect the horse's performance a little bit as well, doesn't it, when the atmosphere is so big? Yeah, some horses really like to shine and like to perform, or most of them do on this level. So if they, if they have the atmosphere of a championship like we do have here, uh, you can you can uh, scratch some more personal best scores and I think we'll see some personal best scores today as well so that will be exciting definitely we're looking forward to that of course the competition got underway on Wednesday but it was the turn of the trot up on Tuesday we'll have a little look at that What you've just been watching is the, the horse inspection for the European Dressage Championships and what you saw is the riders bringing their horses down for us to have a look at. Beforehand their ID has been checked um, against their horses FEI passport and microchip. For the last couple of days the horses have been arriving here and we've been checking them, checking their health status on arrival and this examination is to check they're sort of fit to compete. So when they come up, we have a look, look around the horse, just check it looks healthy, no marks on it or anything. And then we see the horse walk a few strides, then trot away, come to a halt, then trot back to us. We're doing a soundness examination to check that the horse is fit to compete for the ne next few days. Well, I, I'm what they call is like the foreign veterinary delegate. So I'm an FEI veterinary official, but for championships, in big championship games there has to be uh, what they call a foreign vet, so obviously I'm British, I'm in Germany, <laughs> and basically that is to sort of oversee and just check everything runs okay. At the horse inspection a lot of the horses are a little bit lively and on their toes, you saw some rearing and bugging and doing all sorts, so that is kind of normal for um, for horse inspection. You know, they are a little bit, bit lively at the beginning of the event, so that doesn't mean anything at all. Yeah, they all, all look in, in, in pretty much in good health. There's a couple we need to look at again um, tomorrow morning. So if there's some we're not happy with today, we get them, you saw we got them to trot again or present again at the end, then we're still not happy with them. They come back tomorrow morning. We'll have another look at them at seven o'clock tomorrow morning. You can tell by their action and how they move and how they track up. Some are more, flow, more fluid moving and better moving than the others. So you can get an idea of what could potentially be the better horses, yes.
Of course, the welfare of the horse is just so important, isn't it? And a lot of the riders that came here from Tokyo were talking about how their horses travelled back from that Olympics um, and how they prepared into these European championships. But it's really um, interesting to see, isn't it, how the ones that have come from the Olympics have reacted. Um, and they're just looking great in here, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I was also quite curious to see which rider would actually take the first horse, the Olympic horse here to Hagen, because it's a new thing that we have two championships in one year, uh, which is really nice, as uh, Charlotte already explained, for the riders which were reserve and couldn't get a medal in, in uh, Tokyo. But um, yeah, it's always special to see, but they all look really fresh and in top form, in my opinion. And what goes into, you know, getting them in a relaxed state of mind, getting them fit, getting them ready for a championships like this? It's a lot of work. Yeah, a lot of work. And it's, it's uh, great management, actually, also to, to get the horses in top form on this day in here in Hagen and not just be the uh, European champion at home. Because if you do too much, uh, yeah, your horse might be a bit tired. If you want to do personal best or even yeah, world record scores, then you have to be spot on and your horse has to feel great. That's why also in the vet check, that's already yeah, the first, uh, first real impression also to the riders to know how fit is your horse. And um, yeah, it's, it's it's nice to see if the horses look this fresh and perform this well. Yeah. You just said there as well, um, you know, how well the riders know their horses. And that was something that was talked about yesterday as well. But it's that connection, isn't it? And of course, in this kind of atmosphere, that connection is just vital. You know, that partnership to be able to reassure the horse and to get them to perform on the day. Yeah, the connection is key to actually perform uh, yeah, great results here. I mean, this is the nice thing about our sport. You can't pick the best rider and put them on the best horse and get the best result. Uh, mm -hmm. History has mm -hmm. shown you really have to be a good combination. You have to be the best combination to be the best uh, standing here on the top of the podium and earning the gold medal. So that's really nice about our sport. And we're not uh, handling with machines. We're, we're, we're coping with mm -hmm. uh, live animals, which uh, have their own personality and each needs their special care. and some are maybe special needs but uh, you have to have to uh, listen to your horse and then you can do the best yeah exactly of course some of them might be bringing their favorite treats or some mascots things like that and we're actually going to take a look later um today about at uh, some of the tack boxes look at what some of the teams have brought to the competitions what about you though sunka when you've been to championships is there anything that you take with you Yes, I must say I'm super, super superstitious, so I really check that I have always the same stuff with me. I, I, for example, I always wear the same watch when I go into competition. My horse, I always bring two bridles or two double bridles, two saddles, because you never know what happens. You're in the warm-up, your, your uh, bridle breaks, and then, uh, yeah, I don't want it to, to uh, go miss because of that one. So, um, yeah, that, that's what I bring, but there's a lot more, a lot more. I can imagine. I'm sure there's a lot of things that you need, um, but also things that you really want to bring for you and the horse. Yeah, we are, of course, bringing you all of the action from the sport here today, but we are also bringing you some behind the scenes moments. And you can follow all of those on our social channels. Do follow the FEI on the social channels using the hashtag ride the moment. You can also watch everything live on FEI TV and our viewers watching on Facebook and YouTube can also sign up um, with a 30 day free trial at the moment. So it's always worth giving that a try. And uh, yes, keep up to date with everything on FEI.tv. Sunka, we had the Grand Prix yesterday. Today's the Grand Prix special, and that really is a different beast, isn't it? Tell us a little bit about what makes that so different. You know, what, do we, what are we thinking people will do similarly today, or what do we think they'll do differently? Yes, I personally think that the riders will take a bit more risk if they really want to go for the top uh, placing and maybe even for the medals. 
Um, yesterday there was the team competition. They were more focused on going safe and uh, driving home the safe result. But mm. today, I think we'll see uh, a lot of risk taking, which is nice for our spectators. Um, there's also the test is built up completely different. There's a lot of trot extensions, a lot of long passages where they where they show the passage. Mm. Uh, there's a really difficult uh, transition. I think the most difficult transition we have in the Grand Prix sport, which is the transition from the collected walk straight into the Piaf. You can really see the really talented horses and the really good riding where the horses go a really relaxed collected walk and directly spark into the Piaf with the uh, yeah, amazing bounce of the floor. So. Yeah, I'm really curious to see who will do uh, well. Yeah, of course, the Grand Prix special today and then the freestyle on Saturday. That's definitely going to be an exciting one as well. Yeah, freestyle is more that you you show what your horse can actually do and you, you um, spark out the, the good bits and pieces of your horse, the talents of your horse. Here, you really have to go full forward in the trot extensions, back into the passage. And uh, it's also a good test to see how well the horses are in shape and how fit they are, because mm -hmm. it will be tiring for one or two if they're not completely ready and uh, yeah, in the best condition they can be. Absolutely. Well, we will be bringing you all of the action live as it happens. And the man who'll be taking us through that is none other than Spencer Sturmey. Spencer, can you hear me? This is going to be an amazing competition today, isn't it? Yeah, good afternoon, Hannah. Thank you very much. It is going to be an amazing afternoon of competition right the way through into the evening as well. We saw some brilliant performance yesterday. I can't wait for the action this afternoon. Of course, you took us through the Grand Prix yesterday in the team competition. Who were your favourites? What were your personal highlights? There were a number of them. I mean, my goodness me, we've seen some brilliant dressage and a lot of those horses that were on the teams in Tokyo, they're here and that is a real treat in itself. But definitely some of the ones that Sean, Bohemian and Catherine Dufour, Charlotte Desjardins again with Gio and Jessica von Brudeau Vandal and Talera. My, I mean, she was just wow from the second she came down the centre line. Yesterday was team competition, as Sunka just said. You know, they had to ride a little bit with a handbrake on. I think I think we're going to see some proper risk taking today and some amazing performances and it's it's going to be it's going to be brilliant yeah absolutely we're hoping for those risks we're hoping for those wow moments today just looking forward ahead to today's competition you mentioned Catherine Defoe there anyone else that you're looking out for today well, do you know what? I think it can come from anywhere. We've seen some surprises and some real surprises. Isabel Vert will not let the uh, gold medal slip away. She's quite often been the bridesmaid. She's won so many European Championship titles. I think she's going to go in there. You know, Val Gold is an amazing mare. There's some brilliant horses. I, I love to put a 50B bet down, as you know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, to, I wouldn't like to say where it's going today. <laughs> a few options definitely and uh, of course we can't really talk about this competition without mentioning the fact that of course this is the European Championships the crowd are back and it just really adds something doesn't it of course you're there in the stands and you can really feel that electric atmosphere it is so special Hannah I can't tell you when the the crowd start clapping and the feet start stomping it literally vibrates up here it's such a wonderful feeling we've missed this incredibly but to have the crowds back it's going to be a packed stand here this evening and it is I had goosebumps yesterday look out what is going to happen today I mean, we, we really can't tell, can we? You know, the Grand Prix special is today. The freestyle is on Saturday. Also, we probably need to mention that yesterday we were seeing the horses competing in the daytime. Today, it's going to be at night. The floodlights are going to be on. Do you think that's going to make a difference as well to these horses' performances? I absolutely do. As you said, it was brilliant sunshine yesterday. We're, we're starting at five o'clock and we're running right the way through until gone 10. And we've got really bad weather conditions actually predicted. You, you use the word flood lights. I hope there's going to be no floods in the <laughs> arena. But it is going to be, I think it'll play a massive part. Absolutely, yes. Mm. Well, we can't wait to see all of the action and, of course, to hear you take us through it. <laughs> um, but, you know, again, we've got the first competitor starting very, very soon. That will be Michaela Sorati of Finland. Then we turn to Switzerland, Denmark, um, and another Finnish competitor. We've got 30 here. Um, you know, we've, we've really got to look at who will be winning the medals today, but also going through to the freestyle on Saturday. Yep, the freestyle Saturday, that is the, the biggest competition. It's so, so exciting. But yeah, today is the special Saturday, the freestyle. Make sure you're tuning in and watching every step of the way. 
Yes, absolutely. Tune in on FEI.tv to watch every second live. Enjoy this competition. We really can't wait to see all the action unfold. Hello and a very warm welcome to the FEI Dressage European Championships here in Hagen. The Hof Kasselmann Stadium plays its host to the 30th edition of the Dressage European Championships and what a competition we've had today. We started with the team competition that decided yesterday. We'll go through those results in a few moments time. Today, tonight.